Just outside New Zealand's largest city, Auckland, is the sprawling estate of an internet mogul. It's where German-born Kim.com spends his time devising new ways to make money online and now ways to enter New Zealand politics. He set up his own party called the Internet Party to contest the general election later in the year. The idea was born out of the injustice around my case, right? The raid, the legal spying, the destruction of my business, my internet website. Dot com, who was born Kim Schmitz, is wanted in the United States where he's accused of copyright infringement, charges that could bring a sentence of up to 20 years in jail. U.S. authorities say by hosting illegally copied material, his site, Mega Upload, cost U.S. studios and record companies $500 million. You need to understand that what they are alleging is that I am responsible for the action of third parties. That's like saying, hey, you YouTube executive, you should go to jail because people are uploading pirated movies to YouTube. U.S. officials are seeking his extradition in a hearing to take place in July. The irony of Kim.com's party contesting the election is that he may not even be here when the vote takes place in September. It was just over two years ago that the New Zealand police raided his house and arrested him at the request of the United States FBI. It was a spectacular raid, but it happened after New Zealand intelligence officers gathered information illegally, something the Prime Minister apologised for. Now free on bail, .com says he's setting up his own party to promote internet freedom. But others believe it's another move to try to avoid extradition. It's an effort for him to try and save his own skin. The extradition hearings are proceeding. You know, uh, every legal obstacle he manages to put in the way gets bowled over. What's clear is that this larger-than-life character is not easily put off. He started another file storage website which he plans to list on the New Zealand Stock Exchange with a value of $179 million. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Coatesville, New Zealand.